not a light thing okay. to get before God and to stand in the gap between God and His people and to speak what God said to the Lord. Amen. One must be awful careful. One must tread carefully. Amen. When one stands to speak to God's people, one must speak rightly. One must rightly divide the word truth when speaking to God's people. If not, God will require it at his hand. Amen. In the final day. I want to give honor to God tonight. Amen. We know him as King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. The Bible says the Lord of hosts is his name. Amen. We certainly praise him and honor him and extol him tonight. Amen. In the house of God. I want to give honor to our pastor. Amen. Bishop Swearinger. I want to give honor to the elder. Amen. Kermit Smith that is here. Amen to God. To all of the deacons, officers of the church, and the mothers of the church, all the saints of God. Amen. And the friends that are here with us. Glory to God tonight. I want to give honor to you and to thank you. Amen to God for the honor, for the privilege of serving you. Amen. For well, I am a servant of the Lord. I've been called to serve. Amen. And I feel it's an honor. Amen. To serve you in the Word of God. I have a word from the Lord tonight. Amen. And the word is the war is on. Are you dressed for battle? I say again, the war is on. Are you dressed for battle? Amen. 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 Master, stand with me just briefly as we go before the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I come before you as your servant, as humbly, Lord, as I know how. Asking you, Lord, to intercede right now. Give me an answer, Lord. Glory to God from on high right now tonight. Bless me to speak your word and to speak it boldly. Glory to God to rightly divide the word of truth. Glory to God to be a strength and a help to your people. Lord, bless me to speak a word that would reach out to some unsaved soul, Lord. That might be sitting in our midst, that they might come running to the altar, yes. asking, What must I do to be saved? Yes. Satan, I speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. I speak to the demon of doubt, the demon of fear, yes. the demon of confusion, yes. the demon of division. I speak to you, I call you by name. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke you right now. Yes. We take a man in this service. Yes. We take a man. May the blessings of the Almighty God descend yes. upon your people right now. Yes. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. 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 I'm going to ask you to turn with me to the sixth chapter of the book of Ephesians. So a very familiar passage of Scripture that we're going to read from the sixth chapter of the book of Ephesians. And we're going to read verses 10 through 18. To heaven say amen. amen. <laughs> Finally, my brethren, yes. be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, 
And having done all to stand, yes. stand therefore, having your loins girt about the truth, yes. having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yes. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Right. Pray in all ways, all prayer, supplication in the Spirit, and watch in there unto all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Yeah. This passage of Scripture was written by the Apostle Paul. Amen. And the epistle of the Ephesians is one of what is called the prison. Epistles. Okay. Amen. Paul himself was not a man of war. Paul was not raised and taught in the art of physical combat. Paul was one who sat at the feet of Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, and he was taught, he was schooled very well in the law of God. And he knew the law backward and forward. Amen. And as a Pharisee, he was blameless. Yes, and one that served the Lord with fervor. Amen. And with sincerity. Yes. Amen to God. But we see Paul here writing something about being strong in the Lord. Yes, and in the power of his might. Yes, and you notice it says, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. For you see, we of ourselves have no power and no might to do anything. We ourselves are not fit for the battle. In and of ourselves that we have to fight. Amen. Because we're fighting against unseen forces. We're fighting against powerful forces. Amen. And are beyond the capability of a man.
got to deny yourself. Yes, sir. Right. You got to turn away from self. Yes, Glory to God, you got to forsake self. Yes. Amen to God. And you got to reach out and have a hold to the truth. Yes. Amen. It's every one of our responsibilities. Amen to know what the truth is.
prayer. Many times we seek the Lord for an answer. And God will send the angel from the very moment we get on our knees. God will just back the angel. Amen with an answer. Amen that there are demons, there are principalities, there are powers, wings. Amen to intercept them. That's why you got to have patience. Amen. That's why you got to wait. That's why you got to have faith in God. Because there's a battle going on. Amen. In heaven and place. Every time God sends an angel. Amen. To your aid. There are principalities. There are powers. There are rules of the of the world. And the devil is standing. But there's a battle going on in the heavenly places. Glory to God. Thank God we have God on our side. Amen. The word of God tells me that the angel of the Lord kept round about them prepared and delivered them. Thank God that we have the angel of God on our side. Amen. Thank God. Amen. I want you to understand that we can have all the honor we want. We can have all these pieces of honor. Yes. Amen. That we just talked about. But if there's no prayer and if there's no supplication before the Almighty God, your arm is useless. Yes. Your arm is useless. Yes. Your soul is useless. Amen. If we have no prayer, if we don't have a plan for life, you know why? Because the Lord of hosts is our captain. The Lord of hosts is the one that needs the battle. The battle is the Lord. The battle belongs to God. Amen. Let me share with you about Brother David. Lord God out there watching his flock of sheep. Amen. God. Amen. On one occasion, I was a champion. Glory yes. to God of the Philistines. Amen. The Philistines and Israel were in the battle already. In the battle of Edom. And there was a champion of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath. Amen. A man that was stood almost 10 feet tall. Yes. Amen. A giant of a man that came out 40 days, morning and evening. And challenged and defied the armies of Israel. Ah, amen. And all the men. Ah, amen. Even King Saul ah, became afraid. Ah, amen. And he ah, and would not go out and face him. Ah, but here comes a little boy. Ah, here comes a little shepherd boy. Ah, amen. By the name of David. Ah, amen. He came one day ah, to the field of battle. Ah, and Goliath came out again. And David heard him. And David said, Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Amen to the fire. There are no other living God. Who is he? The scandal talking about. Amen. What he's going to do. Amen. And it wasn't long before David was taken before King Saul.
this morning. Amen. The desires that God 